The letter, jointly signed by Miranda's sons, Rishad and Rahul, have accused the government organizers for using works created by their late father in gifts given to VIPs during the various G20-related meetings held in Goa, as well as the installation of 16 life-size fiberglass statues, which they said are illegal copies of artworks developed by the late famed cartoonist. We were surprised to see our father's artwork being used without any permission. It is shocking that when India and Goa are trying to impress the G20 countries by showing that we are a developed country, we infringe on the copyright of our late father's works. The letter reads, They further requested the organizers of the G20 meet to get permission for the usage of Mario's artworks. I have uh, nothing to do with the Mario estate. I do know the sons and I do know uh, what has been done by architect Gerard de Punia, uh, you know, in keeping up and burnishing and really spreading and sharing Mario's legacy. Um, that is, the legal issue is one part of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, the government will, will realize in an exercise where, you know, tens of millions of dollars are being spent, mm -hmm. that uh, an artist whose work is being used, and that too being used so prominently, mm -hmm. the acknowledgement and some form of, uh, you know, uh, arrangement with the, with the estate and, uh, is, is required. And I'm sure that will happen. But what I'm really concerned about is this is just one more you know, kind of indication of just how low uh, culture and the great born artists um, of our time um, as well as of the past are being treated. We, we have an extraordinary legacy, uh, Souza, Gaitonde, Fonseca, yes. Chamulka, yes. going back, um, you know, a uh, hundred years. And uh, we do not have uh, Goan's uh, children grow up not knowing about this legacy. We do, not, we do not have any kind of museum. Really, we are in some ways the worst uh, state in India and uh, it's not the world considering the quality of the legacy and what we do to preserve and, and look after it and, and share it with the world. Um, in the case of Mario, a lot had, had been done at mm. one point and, and the fact of Mario's legacy has not been uh, completely trashed. So it is, it's very uh, disappointing to see that the state itself, um, instead of celebrating this uh, great artist, is kind of taking advantage of him in, in a very shoddy, shoddy way. Okay. Prasad Polji and Clinton D'Souza for Headwell TV.